is going on, fellow viewer? This is Steampunk J here, coming at you from my humble art studio with another speed draw session! Yeah! How is everyone doing today? I hope your day is going great, continuing to draw, continuing to paint, continue to sculpt. I don't care what y'all do as long as some form of creativity is being made today. I have had a very rough week and I have to tell somebody about it. So I'm gonna tell you about the drawing. I just, if you can just indulge me for the maybe uh, just one minute of me just venting right here. I have been in the process of learning something new and that is web design. And lo and behold, I managed to create a website. It's amazing. And I had to learn how to code HTML, CSS, Java, all that wonderful stuff. And it took me five days to actually put it together. It's not big, it's not great, but at least I finally was able to get that little mini bucket list off, checked off right here. And that is to just create a website. Everyone that I meet has always been asking me, what's your website? You gotta have a website. and. I always direct them to my social media links if I want to showcase my artworks. But now I finally found the time to actually do it and it was painful for me. I had to watch a lot of videos and it, it took hours and hours and hours of me to just trying to figure it all out, put it together, and I'm still learning. But at least I can finally say that Steampunk J has finally got his website. Uh, up and running, it's ready to go, jlrartanddesign.com. I'll send, I'll put the link in down below and it'll just get bigger, bigger and better and better over time. I, I am just glad to say that it is done. And now I can talk about my drawing because this will be like one great additional piece to my website in which uh, this will definitely be uploaded very, very, very soon. I don't know how soon, but just as fast as I can put together a website, I'm also learning how to actually do it from the basics. So, uh, but yeah, this is definitely gonna be a really, really, really good uh, addition. And so, this video, I can finally talk about this video now. I don't know if that was one minute, two minutes, three minutes. Uh, I just love to gabble and all, but this is a great accomplishment. Now let me talk about this, this beautiful accomplishment right here. So, Every time that I try to do a drawing, I always try to release it on a timely manner, which means I do have a schedule in which I try to put these videos out. And this video was supposed to come before this one video was supposed to be released today. So this one was supposed to be first today, but it's not. So you do have an idea of what this character will look like. And this is actually my finalization of the mascot that I have put together for this hockey team, the New Jersey Devils. Now, for those of you that do not know what I'm doing right here, uh, this is a series that was actually born from this art challenge that I did a while back called the Hurricane Storm Tracker, in which I follow my favorite team, the Carolina Hurricanes, throughout their 2020-2021 hockey season. And what I do in this art challenge is that I watch every single game. And for every single game that I watch, I do a drawing based off of it. Whatever it was, it, it was either how the game made me feel, what it encouraged me to draw. It was an art challenge. And I mean, I follow every single game. So throughout this art challenge, 52 games, I think it was 52 or 56, I lost track. Let me just say 56 games, 56 drawings, 56 videos. And it was a pretty successful challenge. It was tough for me to actually put this all together and try to keep up with the schedule that I put for myself. If there is one thing that I know that I am not good at, and that I still struggle with that I'm hoping to just get right is just time management and just getting these videos out on time. I should just stop caring and maybe my whole life would be easier, but I it is just so difficult to shake off. So it, while I was doing this challenge, it actually gave way to a gender bend mascot for the Carolina Hurricanes, which I called Cyclone. And 
of course, it just got me thinking, if I did a gender bend mascot for my Hurricanes team, why not do the same thing for the other mascots? So that's one down, 31 teams to go. And so throughout this whole entire series that I put together, you've seen me do the mascots for the the Detroit Red Wings, the Dallas Stars, Nashville Predators, Boston Bruins was my last video, and so on and so on and so on. And so, throughout this process, I decided to tackle on to tackle on the next team, which was the New Jersey Devils. And so, I had to do a lot of research, do a lot of research into what this gender bend uh, mascot's gonna look right, look look like. So. The Nash, the New Jersey Devils. Man, I do need some water after this because I am just tongue twisted. <laughs> but that's just a lot of hard work that just went into putting together this video right here. So the New Jersey Devils are based off of Newark, New Jersey. They're a hockey team that was established in 1982, I think. And this team has been around for a while. And of course, they call their teams the Devils. And of course, their mascot is a devil. And when I tried to look up the name for the, the New Jersey Devils mascot, his name is, I kid you not, is New Jersey Devil. That's it. That's his name. So I was like, huh, okay, so NJ Devil. I see that they really dipped into the creative department when it comes to naming their mascot for the team. So when I had to come up with a name, I was just thinking NJ Devil, NJ Devil. And I was just thinking, what's a female name for a devil? And of course, I just thought of Cruella DeVille from the 101 Dalmatians <laughs> Disney movie. I'm like, well, if their name is so simple, then I guess uh, let's just go with something that's so simple as Deville. So the mascot that I present to you, the female, the, the gender bend version of the New Jersey Devils is New Jersey Deville. And of course, she is going to be a play on Cruella Deville. I mean, I have her smoking the Cruella Deville pipe. She'll be wearing a coat that has Dalmatian spots on it. It's it's just a little wink wink a tribute to one of the iconic Disney villains, Cruella DeVille. So and in this case, I had to come up with the look. And of course, the look was actually something I had to think really long and hard for. So, okay, of course she has to look like the devil with the horns and everything, but what is her look gonna what is she gonna look like? like 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 what is her trademark look gonna be so after just looking up online and just trying to figure out like you know the hairstyle the look the just, just, just trying to come up with at least a hairstyle at least i was actually stumped because you know i just didn't want it to be something that is just like a traditional anime girl hairstyle basically and i was stuck and i was actually stuck on this character for a while until Recently, I just started playing this game, Helltaker. I was looking, I actually went back to play the game and I've noticed that one of the hairstyles of one of the demon girls was actually my favorite. One of the demon girls in Helltaker that I really, really, really enjoy. If you were to ask me which girl out of the entire Helltaker harem is my favorite, it would have to be the very first demon Pandemonica. I love the glasses look, the secretary type look, and of course she has a lot of beautiful curls in her hair. And not to mention that her character is that she is tired, she's run down, she's been, she, she typically has the look of a secretary that that works 20 hours a day and sleeps four. So uh, she is just worn out, she's tired, she doesn't have the energy, and then all of a sudden her personality just flips when you give her coffee and she turns into a sadistic demon in which she has no problem torturing you, breaking your bones, just, just putting you through literal torment just for her own amusement. So out of all the girls, if you were to ask me which one's my favorite demon girl, it would have to be Panda Monica. And of course, it just got, I just looked at her hairstyle and I was like, you know what? Let me incorporate some of her curls. And of course, when you look at the New Jersey Devil's mascot, he kind of looks like a Renaissance 
looking demon, basically. And so I wanted this girl to be classy. I want New, New Jersey Deville uh, to be a really classy lady. So she's the one that styles out in all the, the fashion runway clothes. She's curls her hair. She's basically trying to be a Cruella Deville in hairstyle and clothes. She, she's like a, a fashion designer, basically. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. She is the girl that just deals with fashion. And she, it doesn't matter what time of day, she'll always do what she can to make herself look good. She'll smoke the best pipes. She'll wear the the styling fur clothes of the day. She is a very, very, very classy lady. And so I got the curls. And also just to give a tribute to Cruella DeVille, I didn't want to make her hair entirely black or entirely white. So I was thinking, why not give it a Cruella DeVille treatment and just make it one half of her hair black and the other half of her hair white? Because I don't know, I was just thinking like a Cruella DeVille type of look. And of course, I just got inspiration from Helltaker. And of course, it it, it is just like multiple different features and styles that are just put together into this character and of course she is wearing the traditional New Jersey Devils cheerleaders outfit uh, and of course she has the hockey stick that all the girls the, the face-off queens have in which they have her name and it also has the team motto and so the the team motto for the New Jersey Devils is enjoy the ride and if you look closely on the stick at the end product you notice that there is a whole bunch of emphasis on the word enjoy in which everything else is lowercase except for the letter n and the letter j which is a big wink wink to the name new jersey new jersey so Enjoy the ride. I, I think it's pretty clever, like, you know, for the mat, for the motto for the team. And of course, it is a very tough team. Enjoy the ride. You come to face against the devils, you are basically in the first realm of hell, basically. They will fight like demons. <laughs> Uh, and yes, that's just basically the join. That's basically the character right here. She is going to be a wonderful addition to the lineup uh, with all the other girls. And what's even what's even better is that this is actually she represents a team. The New Jersey Devils are actually within the same division as my Carolina Hurricanes. There's 32 teams total. You have the Eastern uh, hockey teams and then you got the Western hockey teams that's how they're divided and within each of those conferences or, or in, in each of those divisions let's put it this way there are even more divisions like for my hurricanes we are part of the NHL that's the big circle that's the big piece of the pie on one half of the pie we are part of the Eastern Conference that's the division that we associate ourselves or that we are a part of and then within that eastern conference pie that half of the pie it's divided into subdivisions and the subdivision that we are a part of is the metropolitan division it is made up of eight teams and if i can remember them off the top of my head you have the hurricanes you have the new jersey devils and then you got the philadelphia flyers then you have the washington capitals like i said i'm going off the top of my head i don't know if i'll get them the new york rangers and then you have, I oh man, I, just when I was on a roll, I just forget the Columbus Blue Jackets. I think I'm on team number six, the Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm trying to think if we have one of the original six on our team, which I think, but I do not know, but I will get to you. I will make sure to write this stuff down in the meantime, but I am glad to say that with this girl right here, she is joining the lineup with Cyclone and Captain Morris of the New York Rangers. So we have three girls that represent the Metropolitan Division. And of course, you have this one girl that's classy and style. Uh, she's smoking that Cruella DeVille pipe. 
So she is just going to be like a wonderful addition to the Metropolitan te team. And of course, it's a good idea to have the devil on your team as well so that you can fight the hardest out there. So, but yes, this is something that I've just been wanting to put in the works for a while. And I am continuing on my journey to try to get all teams finalized, all the face-off queens. That's the name of a series that I'm putting together in which everyone out there in the YouTube land or out there in the internet world, all the internet artists, they're doing like a comic series and it's actually becoming a big trend. So I decided to just give a little wink wink uh, to these teams right here. And of course, to start something really interesting in which you know I'm creating these beautiful characters right here starring in their own little world. And of course, I want the main story to revolve around Cyclone, even though she's a hurricane girl, but she will be uh, the face of the face-off queens along with many other mascots. And I'm thinking that this will be a really good way to help reach out to the artists who are really big into hockey. I am a hockey fan, pro wrestling fan, gamer fan. I love all things. It's just that when it comes to sports, hockey is my sport. Hockey is my sport. I've always been a hockey fan. I love going to the hockey games. And, you know, I don't hate any of those teams. I don't, I'm not that kind of person that just goes and just starts a fight with any other team. That would be my brother that goes and starts fights because he's passionate about the Hurricanes as well. Uh, but I, I'm just doing this as a way to reach out to all the other teams that your teams are awesome, your team rocks, and your team's got the most beautiful mascots to just represent y'all. You got your mascots? I'm just trying to do a little, give a little bit of a gender bender vibe just so that we can all come together and enjoy hockey a whole lot more. So, this is a girl uh, from one of the nine rooms of hell, but she's a big hockey fan. She's into fashion, and she'll be a wonderful addition to the New Jersey Devil family. She'll be a wonderful addition to the face-off queens that I'm putting together. So, I know this drawing looks great. I hope that you enjoyed it, and maybe we'll see more of her in the future as I give you the New Jersey Devil's gender band mascot, New Jersey Devil. So hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked the drawing that I made, then don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And also, if you want to see me do more drawings like this in the future, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content, and hit that notification bell to always stay notified. To all my fellow artists and art fans out there, this is Steampunk J. And always remember to keep on... Drawing.